You guys were on the air this morning and I was just walking the dog. 45 degrees in Ocala. That's where we started this morning. I was about that 51 in Daytona Beach and a very comfortably cool 65 back over to Cocoa Beach. Here's a live look outside at this noon and we are looking great with some high thin clouds overhead. We're at 76 degrees in Orlando. A nice breeze too out of the northwest at 7. Here's a look at the visible satellite. Oh, a few clouds coming in from the Gulf of Mexico, but we're dry. First alert Doppler radar not pinging anything around our area. Now, these clouds that are kind of congregating west of us, they'll move on into town, and that's going to be the addition for Central Florida of another cool front that will slide through and just kind of make sure we stay in this comfortable cool overnight stretch and comfortable afternoon pattern. So this afternoon we'll make it to 80 degrees in Orlando, which just happens to be a degree above our average high, which is now 79 degrees. We'll drop off overnight to cool readings, but it's comfortable in the meantime. 5 p.m. 76 degrees. Look once the sun sets, though, those readings will drop off pretty quickly. So if you've got outdoor plans such as football or such as a date night, hint, hint, you might have to deal with a light jacket. But another thing we have to remember, with this wonderful dry air mass in place, fire danger levels are elevated today. Moderate risk for all of us except for Sumter County. So just be careful. Any kind of a brush fire would be getting out of control relatively quickly. First alert future cast showing mainly clear skies through dinner time and all the way through about 9 o'clock tonight. Friday night hits, of course, the game of the week. Merritt Island heading over to Bishop Moore. Temperatures at kickoff 70 degrees, but they'll quickly drop off after that. And also 730 tonight, Apopka welcoming Timber Creek. This is going to be a great football game, but it'll also be a pretty great forecast too. 66 with a cooler setup as we get through the game. We'll be into the upper 50s, I think, before the thing is done and over with. And as we get you into tomorrow morning, this is what you wake up to. Meteorologist Dave Cotterella in and on duty with 53 on the map in Orlando, 47 in Ocala, and 52 in Titusville. So there's that front today, tonight, into tomorrow. It slides south, reiterates this great pattern for our Saturday. As a matter of fact, through Sunday, the only thing that changes is we'll throw in a few additional clouds, but nothing all that ominous at all. Here's a look at Central Florida's most accurate seven day forecast. So many, so many events this weekend, and the sun will be shining for each and every one of them. Today, 80 degrees, 79 for your Saturday after a chilly start, a little bit milder Sunday morning, but we only make it to 80 degrees. Coastal sprinkle at best. Monday into Tuesday, that's where we start to watch a few more showers as our next frontal boundary tries to approach us, resetting the good stuff, even making high temperatures in the mid-70s as we look ahead to the middle part of next week.